you're here, there's a reason. I believe that the universe is perfectly orchestrated. And if you found us and you're in this community, there is a reason why. So welcome. And we're glad you're here. Yes. And I love the part about without the shame or the guilt, because, you know, for people that are newer, it may be harder to talk about, but they want to be here just, you know, maybe a little shy. So I love how you mentioned that it's for anybody, wherever you are on your journey. And so the platform is on Mighty Networks. How can women leverage the content and their profiles for the, I guess, most success in the community? Yeah, great question. And it was no accident why we picked Mighty Network. Mighty Network gives you the ability to connect with anyone else in the community. Many of the other platforms only allow you to connect with the person that created the community, but Mighty Network actually allows each person to create a profile with a picture, all your links, your background, what you're looking for. And we've created a lot of topics and other ways for you to find people that you're looking for. So whether it's a specific practice or a location or even um, a discussion. You can find different ways to connect with different people in the community directly with them. So you don't have to go through me or Caitlin. You can just reach out to them directly and people can reach out to you. And the goal is to create that interconnectedness across all of us so there's not one point that everybody has to go through. Uh, I love that. And I feel like it's a lot more intuitive than other platforms that I've seen, um, which is great because you can just do it. It's so easy at your fingertips. And so you mentioned earlier, they can have profiles. What should someone put on their profile? Like, what are you looking for? What do, what should they tell people about themselves? What, what should go on the profile? Well, I would love to say, please add a picture. At the very least, add a picture. Make yourself, put yourself out there in a picture. It could be with grandchildren or children or just yourself or doing something you love. A picture is so important because it really makes a community come to life. I have a large community on LinkedIn uh, for tech savvy women, and I require people to have a picture because I feel like it has to, the community has to feel like there's other people in it and not just right. circles with like gray um, flowers and different icons in there. So please, please add a picture. Secondly, you can add a sentence, a two sentences, five paragraphs, a, any description you want about yourself. And then links. If you have a website, if you have programs, if you're hosting a retreat, or if you have a LinkedIn profile or an Instagram, put your links in there. I think many women are seeking to know and get to know women. And when we meet in the community, oftentimes women go and check out the profiles of people that participated in the discussions. And so I really encourage you to create a profile that people can find you. I, I love that because, you know, a lot of our work is digital. A lot of people are in the digital space. So having people be able to connect, network, whether that be like a soul sister connection or potential business connection, I think that's, I, I love that. And so you said there's also content within the Mighty Networks. Can anybody post in there or what type of content is there? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. As you'll see on the left-hand column, there are many tabs you can click into and you can add, there's about 10 or 12 discussion areas, which you can either read or add to. And when you put a post up, make sure you select a topic. If there's a topic that you don't see that you want to see, you can always uh, email me or Caitlin uh, or even Shannon, and we can add specific discussion topics. And see soon, you'll see a course catalog. So we are actively interviewing healers, energy practitioners, and lightworkers for about 30 minutes, we're editing those and then we're adding them. Right now you'll see them in the feed, but soon you will also see them under discussions too, where you can pick out the discussion that you want to listen to. If you have questions or inspirational posts, or maybe you've written an article or you're having an event and you want to post that, you can go into the main platform and post like any other social profile. You just post it, add a picture, some links, and we would love for you to do that because this really is a community to learn, connect, and find ways to create more impact, align with more meaning, and really dive into what matters. So we hope you will join the conversation and add posts. Yeah, and I agree with what JJ said. Definitely feel free to reach out to us as well. I just feel like in terms of sharing, it's really amazing because you'll see a lot of parallels and a lot of the different women's lives as we've seen on previous calls before. When you do share information, it's like, wow, something similar is happening in someone else's life. So just another opportunity to connect. And so since starting Together We Seek, I'm sure you have a lot of amazing ideas and you have some amazing things planned. What do you hope will happen within the community? 
Well, I think we'll take some of the mystique out of all these different practices. I know I've learned so much just in this few weeks we've been online to date. We've had chi. We're going to schedule numerology. We're looking at tapping. We've talked about um, human design. We've talked about some of the challenges of being a spiritual seeker uh, with the backgrounds and things that we've grown up with. So I really hope we take the mystique a little bit out of some of these discussions and we create an avenue for people to dig deep on their own. And so if you're looking for a practitioner, if you're trying to understand, if you have specific questions, you'll join the live discussions with practitioners or reach out to them directly after we post the replays. For me, I really think that women have so many hidden talents that we are not using. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to creating a way to make that easier for women and my ultimate goal is for more women to be really living their truth and creating more impact in every aspect of their life. Yeah, I love that. It's like a domino effect impact. You create impact with them. They create impact with other people and then so forth and so on. And so what if someone in the community has a specific energy practice? How do they go about becoming a speaker within the community? It's easy. You just reach out to us. That's the great thing. You reach out to us and we're scheduling right now for middle of March or whenever you're listening to this, we're usually three or four weeks out. Uh, we definitely require you to have a profile with your links and also provide some topic ideas. And then we'll look at what we've already talked about, your expertise, and we'll organize a discussion that will not only benefit you, but also the members of the community. Yes, yes, absolutely. Reach out to us and let us know. We'd love to have you. And so you talked a little bit earlier about your journey as to why you started the Together We Seek community, but did you have any fear, any doubts, or anything that like, like was essentially a hurdle in terms of like actually starting this community versus when you had the idea to start and when you actually started? Well, it's funny because I was on a retreat myself and I was in Mount Shasta just um, about nine months before I started the community. And I was looking for ways to find retreats because I'm out on Google searching and searching and searching. And I just found it so challenging. So one, I was looking for an easier way to find ways that women get together. But two, I meet so many amazing energy practitioners that I want to introduce. And to date, I've been sending emails with links and names, links and names. And I just feel like there's got to be an easier way to connect all of us. And so even though I had doubts and I definitely asked myself, who the heck are you to start this? Like, who's going to come? Who's going to even think you're going to go down this path? Because you've been doing corporate professional women work for so long. You're just going to do like a right hand turn into the spiritual work. <laughs> Um, I just felt like I was ready after COVID, after staying home. I've been researching birth charts for a couple of years now with some of my teachers and all of my charts and signs and even energy practitioners had said, you know, you probably are going to be making a Y in the road. And so having that validation gave me the strength to just start without really knowing how it was going to manifest. Why now is the time that you decided to create this community? Were you already like a spiritual person? Did you have like some great spiritual awakening or like what led you to this point since you said you were in corporate? What inspired like the hard why? Yeah, that's a good question. I've been doing spiritual work my whole life. You know, my mom started taking me to Lilydale when I was uh, 12 and 13 years old with uh, different mediators and I kind of lost track of it at the end of my 20s and while I started having children. But I think there's catalysts in your life that happen between different people, maybe your significant other, family members, some people pass. And I think some of these compelling events really have you start questioning, like, what, what am I doing? Why am I here? Yeah. And I've had to do a lot of soul searching myself. And I have to be honest that, you know, Starting in 2016, I did some really deep soul searching because I was at a point in my relationships where I was thinking, you know, why am I doing this? Like, who am I? What do I really want to do with my life? And my human design, you know, numbers in my numerology say that I have to do it first before I can share it with others. And after five or six years of doing this, I felt like it was time to really share my network, my experience, and bring women together that I think need to meet. I really think most of the women in the network can benefit each other, maybe a few, maybe all. But I really feel like it's the time that women need to come forward in new ways. And we can't do it with the old material. We need material. We need content. We need practices that are going to allow us to blossom in new ways. 
And I think after COVID and everything that's happened, I think people are ready for it. I think they're ready to step out in new ways. They just don't know how. So finding this community might be a stepping stone for them. Absolutely. And in terms of finding this community, so if someone doesn't quite know about Together We Seek, how would they go about finding the community online? Yeah, so I'm not sure. That's the beauty of the universe, I think. You have to find, you know, the link is togetherweseek.online. That's the easiest way to find it. But I think for many of us, they may see it once or twice or three times in some of the things that we're doing. And if it might take them a few times to join togetherweseek.online. But I feel like whenever you do it is the right time for you. And that, Mm -hmm. as we mentioned before, Things are perfectly orchestrated for you to seek. It is up to you to take that step. So if you've joined the community, thank you for being here. Now we encourage you to join a live discussion, research some of the other profiles, check out the uh, replays, and even consider posting what inspires you. Because honestly, you do have to step in to what is next for you. And you can do it in easy ways by just posting, joining, and contributing to what we're doing. Absolutely. And I have one more question for you, JJ. What is something you want people in the community to know about you or to know about the Together We Seek community? You know, I'm seeking just like you. I don't have it figured out. But what I do know is there are many, many ways to dig deep, meet amazing people, take solo trips, ask good questions, and really dig out of what is no longer serving you. I'm a big believer that you have to create space for light. And the only way you can do that is dig through dark. And the digging through the dark could have started lifetimes ago decades ago, but you have to do the work to illuminate your future path. And this is a great place to start. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And I hope that everybody here has more insight as to how to use your profiles, what content you can post, what content will be out there, and then also what to expect from TogetherWeSeek.online. Thank you all for watching.